Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and a blueprint for test success. This test taking blueprint will follow two important concepts. First, learn to think like a detective to help improve your test scores. Two, information is retained best by looking over the material several times instead of one long marathon session. To begin with, after you know the date of the test, work backwards to figure out when you should start studying. When planning out your study, keep in mind Hofstetler's Law, which states that a task always takes longer to complete than you expect. Before you begin to study, consider thinking like a detective. Your goal is to try to figure out what will be on the test. Teachers are humans, and therefore many are creatures of habit. You may find that your teachers like to give the same type of test each time. I know I'm guilty here. I generally give a multiple choice test with one or two essays and I tend to draw from my study guide. When one of my students understands everything on the study guide, there's a very good chance they will do well on the test. If you have already taken a test with this teacher, try to figure out what the previous test emphasized. Did most of the questions come from class notes, maybe the study guide, or from the textbook? Each time you finish the test in your class, take a few minutes and reflect on it while it is still fresh on your mind. Write notes about it in your planner or somewhere so you can refer to them before the next test. These notes will be very helpful for future tests. When you have not taken a test yet with this teacher, it's a little more challenging to pinpoint what the test will emphasize. Talk to your friends and classmates and chances are you can find someone who has taken the class before and can give you some insight. After you have completed your detective work, rank your study material in order of importance. If your teacher draws most of the questions from class notes, start there. If your teacher likes to pull questions from the study guide, start there. I think you know the point, okay? Now, here are some tips on studying your notes more effectively. The more active you are with the notes, the greater the chance of recall you will have later. Here are several suggestions for actively reviewing your notes. You may want to start by rereading the notes and underlining important points using different colors to represent different topics. You can rewrite your notes into an outline. This is very helpful because it forces you to filter your notes into sections and subsections, which in turn helps your brain make, make connections. Your brain is having to read, process, and categorize the notes which helps greatly with recall later. This is my daughter's top strategy for preparing for a major test. Once you have the outline, you can quickly read over it and refresh main points. Here's an example of an outline from notes. You can also condense your notes into short bullet points. These bullet points can be written on a notepad or on index card. This, again, allows you to just concentrate on the most important facts. And it was my favorite strategy. You can create a practice test. Write practice questions as you go through your notes and combine them into a test. Take the practice test and see how you do. Another option is to create a mind map of your notes. Essentially, a mind map is a web or diagram of information stemming from your main topic. Another important feature of a mind map is how you can condense 10 to 15 pages of notes down to just a diagram. I'll leave a, a link or two to a couple of, of helpful websites for mind maps in the notes below. Okay, now let's look at the study guide. A study guide can be very helpful for you on a test. Often, it is easier to complete the study guide after you've gone through your notes because you're more familiar with the material. However, try to avoid the temptation of just waiting for the answers from your teacher before completing the study guide. Actively answering the study guide helps with recall and learning this information. It is always best to answer the study guide and then check your answer rather than just writing down the answers when they're given to you. Once the study guide is complete, you have several choices. Again, you can make a test from your study guide and then take it for practice. You can convert the study guide to index cards and review them. One advantage to this method is that you can shuffle up the questions. This simulates test condition, conditions in which the teacher usually mixes up the topics. Shuffling the different topics will greatly enhance recall of the material. 
For example, let's say you have a math test coming up. You can write down problems on one side of the index card and the solutions on the other side. Mix the note cards and solve the problems. This shifting from one concept to another is a powerful way of learning the material. Okay, how about the textbook? First, as you read, you can highlight important areas. You then can reread the highlighted areas of your book. If you know that the teacher pulls heavily from the book, you may want to condense this highlighted information into an outline or bullet points. If you don't have time to convert your highlighted text to notes, you can at least stop after reading several pages and try to recall, recall key points without looking at the page. Another way to approach the material while you're reading is like you have to teach someone the material after you read it. Creating test questions that would go along with what you're reading also greatly enhances recall later. And finally, a couple of important tips if you have a math test coming up. When studying for a math test, you can increase recall by working on a variety of problems. Work on one section of similar problems, then move to a new section, and then back to the original. This flipping back and forth helps your brain with recall later. Also, your recall will also increase in math, math if you actually work the problem out and write it down instead of just glancing at it and saying, oh, I've got this. I hope this blueprint for test success is helpful. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.